Okay. Hello, hello everyone. My name is Max Geiling. I am a senior commercial music major here at Loma. And uh, I'm gonna give you guys a little tour of the Cooper Music Center today. So I'm standing right here in the lobby of, uh, of the Cooper Music Center. And uh, we're gonna walk around a bit. Uh, and um, so yeah, here in the lobby is where we'll start. I'm gonna show you guys the first room we got here. The uh, seminar room, room 128. Let me flip my camera around. There we go, so you can see. This is one of our one of our music classrooms in here. Um, all of our classrooms in the music department come with a piano in tow, ready ready to uh, to see and uh, and uh, play any music you you know the professors will need to play while they're teaching. Uh, as you can see, we are socially distanced right now with all of our chairs, so students can still be in there and uh, and, uh, and and get some work done in person for this upcoming semester. Um, all of our whiteboards have the the. Um, grand staff on them so professors can, can write and practice music theory stuff like that. Uh, and they all have great speakers so if they're playing any audio, uh, students can, uh, can, can hear that really well. You know, it's really important for us here in the music department. But here we are back in the lobby. Uh, I'm going to show you a couple other spots just in this room. Um, most of our offices, uh, for our professors, most of our offices are upstairs, which uh, I, uh, I won't be showing you those just because it's a uh, Kind of boring. I can't take you inside, and uh, you know, don't want to bother them while they're hard at work. But um, one office in particular is down here that I can show you a little bit of. Just our uh, office of Bill Clemens, Dr. Bill Clemens, one of our co-chairs of the department. Um, this is his office and teaching studio where he does all of his uh, his work. Um, it's really great in there, full of uh, a bunch of instruments. Uh, Dr. Clemens teaches our world music class, and so he has a bunch of instruments from all over the world, and so it's really Really cool to go in there. He'll have office hours and students will go in and talk music with him and, and work, work on stuff in there. Um, right here is our, our music department office, home of our office manager, Susan Bradley, um, where she's currently at lunch right now, but this is where she lives. This is where students can come to sign in. Uh, right now in COVID time, students do have to sign in when they come to the building. Um, they can also come there to request practice room keys and different things like that. Um, so that's a great, great place to know about. So I'm walking us through this hallway here, and we are now in the lobby of Krill Performance Hall. So Krill, you may know, is our big, our big performance theater on campus uh, here for the music department. I will take you inside, but we're gonna check one thing first. Um, I wanna show you this little, this little room off to the side of Krill called the parlor. So um, the, the Cooper Music Parlor is a really, it's a beautiful little room here um, where we have a lot of smaller gatherings and events. But let me pop in here. So here's the parlor. As you can tell, it's a beautiful room here, furnished, uh, furnished really well. So it, all of the furnishings in here, all the furniture and everything is from the Cooper estate. So the family who the, the whole building is named after. Um, this is all from their home, which was originally in Pasadena. Um, you can see there's a little picture here of Gladys Cooper, and, uh, and she was a great philanthropist and a, and a very generous lady. And you can see we have a little plaque here kind of commemorating the old house in Pasadena, California, and, uh, and some other older programs and stuff. But um, yeah, this is a great room. A lot of events happening in here. We'll have different uh, recordings. Students will come in here to record videos for grad school auditions and things like that, or now that we're doing all of our, our virtual uh, juries and performances. Students might come in here to do those just because it's such a pretty room. This is also kind of the like reception hall or um, kind of banquet type place for after performances. We'll, uh, we'll have, yeah, different, different things like that happening in here. So yeah, it's a great little room. Um, it's also a fun place to come just hang out in between classes if it's open, really peaceful and, and quiet. So we're gonna head right back out the way we came here. <sighs> If I can open the door. <laughs> so we're heading right back out here. We are back in the Cooper or the Krill Performance Hall lobby. Um, we're gonna head inside Krill now so you guys can see what it looks like in there. Um, oh, another thing I like to mention is just all of the paintings and everything you'll see um, in terms of artwork on the, on the walls of the entire Cooper building is all from the Cooper estate as well. Um, so yeah, we're definitely very fortunate to have all those wonderful um, paintings and, and furnishings like that. But here we are in Krill Performance Hall. 
This is a 400 capacity theater that we have here for all of our performances, currently donned with all of the, the papers and, and socially distanced regulations. You know, we're trying to keep everyone separated. So uh, we're, we're, we're all doing that, trying to be safe in here. Uh, I'm gonna take you guys up on stage right quick so you can see what it looks like from up here. But we have all of our um, different performing groups in here, like our jazz band, our choirs, um, concert band will all perform in here. And uh, this is what it looks like from up, from up on stage here. So uh, it's really, really beautiful theater. Um, one great aspect of our music department is that all students are allowed to be in the performing groups. So for any student who maybe did band in high school or sang in a choir or something, they uh, will, will, are allowed to, to be in the choirs here. It's not just the music majors. And uh, they can even be, uh, be up for scholarships and audition for scholarships and things like that, even if they're not in the music major. So that's one great aspect of our music department. It's very generous. We have some great donors and philanthropists who take care of us really well. And uh, you know, we like to share that with, with all students, not just those in the music major. So I'm gonna take us out the side door here and we are back inside the Cooper Music Center here in this little hallway. I'm gonna take us right now into this little uh, hallway here. We have some restrooms in here, but uh, more importantly, I like to point out our studio. This is our Ingram Recording Lab, new, very new to the school, only about, uh, it's only been here for about two years. Uh, it's just the same amount of time that the commercial music program has been here. So this is, this is our studio here, state of the art, um, half million dollar build to make this place. We have um, everything that we can need to kind of learn the ropes of working in a studio today. We have our, our um, analog console here, an API console that is known for its, for its tone and its, its sound, as well as a bunch of different outboard gear things that add different color to your sounds. And, um, you know, slowly we learn how to use all of them and be able to, to, to make some great music in here. Um, Oh, I see someone asking a good question. Our classes in session are online. So um, currently, in the, let me turn it around here. Uh, currently in the fall semester, all classes were online, but we did have some students on campus. Um, but for this coming semester in the spring, it's going to start in March, uh, March 1st, we will have some classes in person. So we're very fortunate to have some, a lot of space to do some outdoor classes and things like that, um, as well as you'll see kind of in every classroom within this building, they're all socially distanced and, and spaced out. So hopefully we'll be, you know, we'll be safe that way and trying to, to have that, you know, benefit of being in person. It's definitely um, much, much needed. And, and I think all of the students enjoy being in person, but you know, we're trying to be safe about it as well. So yeah, good question. We will be in person as much as we can for the spring semester. Um, but another cool aspect of our studio is you might notice, um, Generally in a studio that you have the control room, which we are in right now, and you'll have glass um, and then into the, the recording space. But uh, we unfortunately don't have that kind of capability. We didn't have that kind of space in this, in this building. So uh, we compromised with TVs. So we have our big monitors here. We have three monitors that we can assign to do different things, either to show the computer screen or to show a video feed from another TV that is on wheels that has a camera on top of it. So students can, um, students can take this on wheels, it's on wheels, so they can push it out into one of our um, designated recording spaces within the building, set it up, have a live video feed coming back to this room where then we can talk to each other and work. Uh, so it's really cool that way, you kind of a remote studio space. Um, and so yeah, we have a lot of, we have three spots um, within the building where students can record from, or I guess four technically, because. Um, they can record within this, within the room right in here if they're recording something. Um, or they can record, there's a smaller space upstairs where they could do, you know, maybe a drum set or something. Um, or they can do it in our band room, which we'll take a look at in a sec. But first I wanna show you our instrument storage room. It's a, it's a really great place to kind of have in the loop. Okay, so actually I was getting poor connection in the storage room, but you can kind of see it in there lockers where students can store all their instruments, especially for students who play the bigger instruments like uh, like the bass or something, you know, they want a place where they can leave that so they don't have to lug it back and forth between their uh, their, their dorm room and their class. So um, it's nice that we have that 
right here in the building where students can can bring their stuff and, and keep it keep it all safe and locked up between classes. But um, I'm gonna walk in right here into our band room. So this is our, our big band room in the music department. Um, it's mainly the home of our jazz band, but um, our concert band also meets here and um, a couple choirs and everything will meet in here occasionally. As you can see, it is all uh, socially distanced learning for, for this coming semester. Um, again, a piano, every class needs a piano in here. And uh, this is one of our recording spaces for the studio. So we have a panel that connects directly from the studio to the uh, to here, so we can uh, we can record in here. We can wheel in one of those TVs that I showed, and uh, be able to see each other and everything. So yeah, it's a great space, um, really really great learning environment, and uh, and yeah, it sounds nice as well. So we're definitely very lucky to have this space for our for our bands and for kind of any multi-purpose you know classes or anything like that. Okay, so next I'm gonna try and take you guys downstairs. We'll see. Hopefully the connection holds up with the Wi-Fi and everything. But uh, we'll take a look. We have, downstairs we have some practice rooms as well as some computer labs and some, uh, some electric, electronic piano labs. So let's take a look down here. Um, currently it's also kind of, it's a makeshift storage area for a lot of the chairs that you'll, that you'll see um, because we're, we had to clear out a bunch of the chairs to make space for. Okay, let's see, we had a, bit of drop in connection there. We'll see if it persists. And if it does, we'll head back up. No problem. I can tell you about it, but I would love to show you. Um, so you'll see right here, all of the chairs piled up from upstairs. You know, we had to make space for social distancing, but uh, it's okay. It's manageable. We can still walk through. It's fine. It's fine. Um, one aspect of our music major is that every major, um, every music major has to take piano. They have to pass what's called the piano proficiency exam. And that's basically just um, our, our exam to make sure everyone is proficient at piano, you know, because it's such an important instrument for music and for understanding theory and everything. So um, uh, we have a piano lab for those classes. Let me turn it around here. Stocked with, with a bunch of keyboards um, that all are, uh, have headphones on them so students can come in in a class and uh, work on their own keyboard. And... Uh, and oh, I see uh, Susie, our, our business, or our, our, sorry, our building manager is on, and she's t saying that those uh, chairs in down here are going to be going to outdoor classrooms. So, yeah, great. They're still going to be used. They won't stay down here forever, luckily. But uh, thanks, thanks, Susan, for pointing that out. Um, really cool aspect of this room is that um, the professor who sits up at the front has a audio controller where they can control um, who they want to listen to, so they can click into anyone's key keyboard and hear what they're playing. Um, and so it's really great rather than having, you know, 15 pianos in one room, you just have a bunch of keyboards. And so it's completely silent. Students can work on, you know, different things if they want to um, and, and they don't bother anyone. Um, also professors can, whoever's teaching can put students into groups, which is really cool. So we can uh, work on things together. And, uh, and again, yeah, not bother anyone. So it's really great. Obviously technology is a big part of what we do. It's always, it's always changing in music. And so uh, we like to try and keep up with the times as best we can. Um, and speaking of that, our music technology lab is right here, room 12 down here in the basement. This is fully stocked with keyboards and uh, our MIDI keyboards, I should say, and computers. So we'll have a lot of classes down here that are uh, more technologically sound. So our digital audio class, which is focused on creating music in a digital space. So on a computer um, with a MIDI keyboard or something like that, um, it's great. It's all, you know, studios nowadays are all digital and everything. So it's great to have a space where we can learn that as well. Um, and, uh, and so, yeah, we, we, we have this space where we can work on that. Um, so yeah, we'll have digital audio in here. We also have, sometimes you'll work on theory, theory classes and everything. And, uh, it's great cause now all of the notating and, and, and everything happens on the computer as well. So we have all those programs and softwares on the computer. Um, but yeah, so this is our music technology lab. It's great. Professor can come stand up here. We can also print out all of our music once we're done with it or once we're done writing it, I should say. So Yes, it's a great spot in the building. One of my favorites, also very quiet. 
generally uncrowded. People can come down and uh, and work work on whatever they need to because it's open usually whenever the building's open. Students can come down and, and get work done as long as there's not a class in there, of course. But I'm gonna take us in right here to our half of our practice rooms. So this is A through F of our practice rooms. You'll see, you'll see here um, our practice rooms are a big feature of our music building. Um, it's obviously, you know, as we are music majors, we do need a place to come in and practice. So they're all stocked with pianos, and um, so students can come in, get some work done, and uh, and 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 you know they go up to the front desk, get their get their their key, and we actually do have keys um, in a in a box where students can walk in and put their code in, and get a key um, for all the majors. But for those who aren't music majors, they're still allowed to use these rooms. They just go to the front desk and get a key. Um, let me make sure this piano works right quick. Yep, it works, we're good. Um, right now with COVID protocols, we do have sanitizing stations, so students can just come in, grab a little towel, just kind of wipe it off, make sure everything is... Yep, make sure it's all clean before you leave. Um, trying to keep everything sanitary and, you know, not uh, not spread any, any germs when we don't have to. Um, also, that was probably the best I've ever played piano, just with the towel, you know. That's sounded better than what usually comes out when I play. But we're going to head right out here. Um, another locker room down here. Just a, a smaller space where, where students can come and, and lock up their instruments. And then this is our other practice rooms. It looks the same as the one we were just in, so I'm not going to bother showing you that one. Um, but we're going to head down this hallway here. And I want to show you... Um, one of our newer features of this building is a um, another commercial mu commercial music studio space. This is known as the Annex, and uh, it's a space where students can come down and work on more projects, recording-wise or, or whatever. They can come in here, three different kind of booths where they can work in um, and uh, and get some work done. And so it's a really great space, you know, fully stocked with monitors, studio monitors, and, and, and computer screens, and a MIDI keyboard. So, yeah, great spot to come in and get some work done. And, uh, and yeah, very, very cool mood lighting. I'm a big fan. I'm a big fan of the blue, personally. I really like it. Uh, but, yeah, so we're going to head back upstairs. Got a couple more classrooms to show you on this tour. Um, but, yeah, also keep firing questions down in the comments. I really appreciate it. I would love to answer more of them. Um, I think I saw one that said, what's my favorite part about Point Loma? And uh, it's a bit general, but I would love to answer it. I love Point Loma. I love the community around here, um, especially the connection between alumni and current students, I think is really powerful. And we see that a lot within the music department, you know, as we are putting on shows and different performances, you'll see alumni coming to those shows all the time. It's a great way for them to stay connected. and. Um, in our concert choir, we sing um, a benediction at the end of each song, or at the end of each uh, performance. The Lord bless you and keep you. And for that, we always invite any alumni or people who have been in concert choir before to join us. So at the end of every performance, if there's any alumni there, they join us for the the final singing. So for me, that's a cool example of how the community is so tight knit and how the alumni are really connected to the rest of the student body. So. Um, yeah, that's my keep answering or keep asking questions. I'll keep answering them for you. But um, this is another one of our classrooms we're stepping into right here. Let me flip it around. Come on. There it is. So this is our theory classroom mainly. Uh, it teaches all of our theory classes. We have four semesters of theory as music majors. And uh, it's just really important for us to be able to, you know, write music and, and notate things like that. But this also hosts some other classrooms. Um, intro to listening is a big one that music majors take, and that's kind of your freshman year class um, that, that kind of teaches you how to be a music major as well as, you know, gives you a, a good history of, of music and a nice overview. But, uh, yeah, this is a great classroom. Again, fully stocked with piano, uh, um, uh, whiteboard, and then all of our, our big monitors uh, for, for sound. And so we can hear things really well when teachers play us different pieces and things that require intensive listening. We have proper monitors to listen, listen on. So yeah. Um, I have one more classroom to show you guys on this little tour. It's our choir classroom. 
Okay, hang on. Sorry, the connection's dropping a bit because I had to walk outside to get in here. But this is our choir classroom. Okay, are we back? Great. <laughs> here we are in the choir classroom. It's our biggest classroom in the music building. Um, and it's where we have our choirs meet. So both concert choir and chorale, our bigger choirs, will meet in here. And as you can see on these risers, it's currently all socially distanced. So um, it's nice to have a big classroom space like this where we can still have some, some classes meeting. Um, but yeah, it's a really beautiful space, just kind of nice, good acoustics. It always sounds really nice in here. And a uh, great piano again. And uh, yeah, so this is our choir room. Um, one thing I will show over here is some images and some memories from our Christmas show. It's called Cider Celebration. This one was from two years ago. Um, so it would have been 2019, I believe. Yeah, 2019, Christmas time. Um, and it's really, it's a fun show. As you can see, we got some costumes and some, some of our choir members were doing skits and stuff. And so it's a great family show. Um, and you can see a couple of our past incarnations of the concert choir here. But um, one really cool thing um, this year or last semester in the fall, our Cider Celebration was all online due to COVID. So um, it was a really fun opportunity for us students. Obviously, we would have loved to be in person. Um, but it was really cool to, uh, to be part of a Okay, sorry, I had to get back inside. Um, but I was saying it was really fun to be part of a virtual choir like that. Hello, there we are. Um, okay, it was fun to be part of a virtual choir like that because we all um, got to send in, we would all record our parts separately and then send them in and then they would uh, be put together and mixed. And uh, so it was really cool to kind of get to be a part of this. Are we there? We're back? Okay. <laughs> Sorry, I'm losing a bit of connection here, but um, it's okay. This does conclude the tour. This is the, the last stop for me just back here. Um, I'll walk back into the lobby where we started, bring it full circle, you know. But, um, but yeah, thank you so much for watching. Everyone who watched and asked some great questions, I appreciate it. Sorry if I couldn't answer them all. But uh, this was super fun for me to, to give you guys a, a walk around of my home, the place I've been studying for the past four years now. And uh, but yeah, thanks a lot for watching. And uh, yeah, hope you guys learned a lot, had some fun along the way. But yeah, go see lines. God bless everyone. Thanks a lot.